Hi, I'm Katie Zirkins, and I am Foundation's Health and Wholeness's foster care therapist. I'm a longtime foster parent and have adopted children through the foster care system twice. I've also worked in child protection and have a good understanding of how the system works and how I can support foster families and the children in their care. I feel that because of my experience, I can see things through multiple lenses. In my role, mental health care is an important part of the emotional care for everyone involved in the foster care system. I do think if we can talk about the need for mental health counseling and offer counseling like I provide, we can address the trauma, stigma, and barriers to living a life of joy for everyone. Foundations is committed to supporting everyone in the lives of a child or teen in foster care. In my therapy practice, I work with children who are placed in care through the organization. Foster families, including their biological children, and biological families, including siblings of the children and teens in foster care. We as an organization are unique in providing mental health counseling for the emotional well being of everyone involved. And we offer this counseling at no cost to families connected to foster care by foundations. Up to 80% of children in the foster care system have a mental health diagnosis or trauma related challenge. A key part of what I do is specific assessments related to attachment and trauma. What is significant about my role is it enables me to remove barriers, work with families and children almost immediately, and give advice and feedback related to my own personal and professional experiences as a foster and adoptive parent. Some of the parents and children I work with are struggling with challenges going on in the home adjustment to the change in the home dynamics, and separation and loss related to foster children coming and going, and translating behaviors to have a better understanding. This work helps build empathy for foster parents and allows them to handle situations with grace and empathy to help build stronger connections with the children in their care. Another component of my work is helping families through the reunification process. It's weird in our society to feel lost when a child is reunified because others around us think it's already expected and that you sign up for this, you should be prepared for this. But it's hard and it's okay to have the feelings of grief and loss when a foster child who you've cared so deeply for is returning home. This is also a time to celebrate for this child and hopefully gain a better understanding of the birth family connection. These are the things we need to process, and it's okay to feel a certain way. I help foster families gain realistic expectations about the process and meet these children where they're at. As a therapist, I offer warm, empathetic, and even fun client-centered sessions, the optimal setting for growth and healing. I'm here to walk this journey with you I'm here to help foster parents understand they're not alone. Foster families have me and the rest of the awesome Foundation's foster care team supporting and rooting for them and the children in their care. I hope this brief introduction into therapy for foster families has been helpful. Being a loving space for a child or a teen is rewarding and a journey so worth doing.